Dozens of people were killed and hundreds injured in violence that broke out in Chad on Thursday, according to Prime Minister Saleh Kebzabo. He told a news conference the government was still compiling casualties from what he described as an armed insurrection. But human rights groups said unarmed civilians were massacred as security forces brutally cracked down on demonstrations in the capital, N'Djamena, and several other cities. It comes after pro-democracy protesters took to the streets, calling for a swifter transition to democratic rule. The country is ruled by a military council led by President Mohamed Idris Deby, who took over following the battlefield death of his father, President Idris Deby, in 2021. The council was only meant to rule for 18 months, but pushed back elections to October 2024. The 18-month period expired on Thursday, prompting opposition and civil society groups to call people to the streets. The government banned the protests, but demonstrators were defiant, barricading roads and torching the party headquarters of the new prime minister. Security forces responded with tear gas, live rounds and arbitrary arrests, according to rights groups. Riots have been intermittent in Chad since the younger Davy seized power last year, but Thursdays appeared to be the bloodiest.